Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Uh, we're so excited for today. It's Living the Mission Day in MVV Week. I'm Amelia Fox, and I'm joined by Phil Hubble, who's going to pop up in a few minutes here. Uh, we're also joined by two wonderful people, Jamie LaPont and Sandra Blackwood, and you're going to get to hear from them today. As you know, LSF's mission is bringing God's healing, hope, and help to people in need in the name of Jesus Christ. And every one of you is doing that in some form or fashion, working with your clients, working with your colleagues, working with your teams. And we're so excited for that, and we're so appreciative of that. So it's the why that we're here. And uh, we're going to get to hear from two people about how they live the mission and how their teams live the mission. Uh, Jamie LaPont has been with us for uh, over 30 years. She's from our Northwest group. And Sandra Blackwood is with our Jordan Park Head Start program. But first, let's talk to Jamie. So Jamie, you and I were chatting a few minutes ago, 30 plus years with LSF. You've seen so much over that time. Can you just give us a couple of stories or tell me how you feel connected to LSF's mission? Um, yes, and good morning, Amelia. And wow, 30 years is a lot of memories and definitely not a time to overview all of them. <laughs> so it probably started for me um, over 30 years ago when we had our legislators in our community. They all came together to um, renovate an old church that was here on our property and also add some new buildings for our family counseling and our admin. But they all came together to do that because they at that time even believed in our our mission for healing, hope, and help. So I remember it starting real early that I, I believed in what we were doing from day one, even before we provided our services. And then, you know, it changes daily what, you know, the impact that we have. This morning, I was with a 17-year-old driving her to work, and she's been in our shelter for a little while now. And she's having a little bit of separation anxiety because she's getting ready to be 18. And going to be leaving her LSF family. And that's been real hard for her. So kind of to cheer up as we're talking, I said, well, wow, what do you want to do for your 18th birthday? And she instantly says, I just want to be free and have a party. And, you know, I was a little bit nervous when I was asking her what kind of party she wanted to have. And she, I said, so what would an 18th birthday party look like for you? I said, do you want ponies and silly hats? Just tell me, what is it you want? And she said, no, Miss Jamie. She said, I just want to go sit on the beach alone. Oh, and I get teary-eyed, sorry. Anyway, and when she said that, I knew that we had done something right, all of us together as an agency, and I knew that we had changed her life forever. It was just that valuable. And, um, and as an outreach coordinator, I, when I go into the community and I do a presentation, and when I walk away and I'm just doing the, you know, presentation that you always do and you nail it, you know, and it's heartfelt and you know, everybody has, you know, like, wow. At the end of that, when somebody walks up and they say, you know, tell us more about your services or do you have a brochure? Because they feel, you know, what we do in our community. But even more importantly is that family or that kid that walks up afterwards and says, do you remember me? I was in your shelter, you know, 20 years ago and, and now they've made accomplishments. And or that family that says, you turned everything around for us. Um, those are the things that can keep you at LSF. I mean, I believe in our mission. I believe in the individuals. And as tough as things get sometimes, I know that individuals, we all believe in our mission, but more importantly, as an agency and whatever crisis we're going through, that we're going to work through it and continue the services we provide. Thank you so much, Jamie, for sharing. You know, don't you, folks, don't you feel just warm just listening to Jamie and her stories? It's just so nice. And uh, I want to go to your parties, too, if there's ponies. I'm, I'm absolutely in. And thank you so much for the 30 years of service and all that you've done for our clients. It's so wonderful. So wonderful. Um, Sandra, you're at Jordan Park Head Start. And can you tell us a little bit about how LSF's mission lives on at, at your program? One of the ways we did it for since this week, last week, um, we had parent meeting. And it's tough to get parents to come to parent meeting. And so um, I had to change it up a little bit to try to get the parents to come in. Um, and we do our parent meeting via Zoom as well. Um, so they're not actually coming to the center because um, we can't have anybody in the center, of course. Um, but anyways, our topic for parent meeting um, this month was financial literacy. And so during parent meeting, what I did was um, in a way, in in a way to empower the parents is to talk about savings. And so we talked about savings and few people had savings account. 
But for the ones who didn't have savings account, I created a challenge. And so the challenge was to get them to open, open up savings accounts. Um, and one parent, um, she decided that she didn't make enough money to actually save. And so when, when I explained to her that when she passes by the McDonald's or the Burger King, or the nail shop or wherever, um, and she can run in and, and, and use that $20 to do her nails or the $10 or the four for four at Burger King or McDonald's, that, that's actually money she could be saving because she could cook that stuff at home. Um, and so they never looked at it that way. So the mom that actually won um, the challenge. Um, she'll be opening up a savings account this week. And um, I told her I would match her savings account with $25. And so therefore, um, she was excited about that. And I feel like that's a way to uplift and encourage our parents, because so many of them seem as if, um, you know, they can't do when in reality, they can, they just need a hand up to be able to do that. And so that's one way that I thought um, was a good way to, you know, share the vision, share the mission, you know, of LSF. Thank um, you so much, Sandra. You know, I think of healing, help and hope, and those fit like perfectly in there, right? In terms mm -hmm. of helping our community and helping make the world a better place. So thank you for all that you're doing and keep being creative. Uh, some of this is very creative and keep doing it. Thank you. Um, so now it's time for today's activity, folks, for me to introduce it. We want you to get together in your teams, right, and talk about what it means to you as a team to live the mission, right? So what you need to do is get, schedule a quick meeting, get together with your teams, figure out what, what it feels like to you to live the mission, much like we've heard about today, and then get that into, get what you come up with into Carrie Still. So send her an email with the detail, and it's Carrie Still, C A R I dot s-t-i-l-l at lsfnet.org but we need you to do that and, and get them in early and uh thank you so much for your time today thank you sandra amelia jamie and and kate it's it's a wonderful session uh, we appreciate it and uh and goodbye <laughs>